I had been lied to by Planned Parenthood, and because of that, I had in turn lied to thousands and thousands of women. That wasn't supposed to happen. This baby wasn't supposed to be, you know, fighting for his life. I mean, that's that's not what Planned Parenthood has told me. Um, and so, but we had a visiting doctor come in that day, and, and he was describing that, you know, it's actually safer if a doctor can see what he's doing while he's performing surgery. And this is just something I'd never thought about. Um, before, and he said, well, you know, if time permits, I will uh, call you in and, and show you what using an ultrasound during an abortion looks like. Uh, that time did come, and I was asked to go into the room. So my job was to hold the ultrasound probe in place so the doctor would be able to, in his words, visualize his target. I uh, stood there, we did the measurement, the baby was 13 weeks along, and I, uh, the doctor began the procedure, and I could see the, the, the tube, the, the suction tube, the suction wasn't yet turned on, but I could see that tube going into the woman's uterus. I could see it on the ultrasound screen. And I watched as this tube went right up next to the side of this child. And when it touched this, this baby in the womb, the baby jumped and he began flailing his, his arms and legs as if he were trying to move away from that abortion instrument. And the doctor asked the technician to turn on the suction, and he said, beam me up, Scotty. And the suction was turned on, and I just remember watching this, this tiny body of this baby. I could see it being twisted and turned on the, on the ultrasound screen. And I just saw pieces of the baby just disappearing. I knew the pieces were disappearing into the suction machine. And the, the last thing that, that remained on that ultrasound screen for just a moment was this perfectly formed little tiny backbone. I could see it on the screen. That was the only thing that was left. And then all of a sudden, the screen was black. And I knew the abortion was complete. And, um, and I, I left the room, I went to my office, um, and I just thought that wasn't supposed to happen. This, this baby wasn't supposed to feel what was taking place. This baby wasn't supposed to know that that instrument was there. This baby wasn't supposed to be, you know, fighting for his life. I mean, that's, that's not what Planned Parenthood has told me. And uh, I, I knew then, in that moment, I knew that I had been lied to by Planned Parenthood. And because of that, I had in turn lied to thousands and thousands of women who came into my facility. And so uh, I, knew I, I knew I had to leave. I knew I had to make a change. I didn't know what that was going to be like. I didn't know what it was going to look like. Um, but I made the decision to leave. <laughs> 